Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. In this episode I'm going to answer the question that I think is asked, well, maybe it's the most asked question there is. And that is, what printer should I buy for myself or what printer should I buy my child? Uh, and is a little bit cheap. Well, there are a few printers that you can buy now that are very cheap and that are also very good. But the thing is, what kind of experience do you want? Do you want a kind of experience that is out of the box and immediately good? Or do you want a kind of experience that teaches you uh, how to make your printer, how to create things? And, and well, if you build your own printer, even if it's a kit, then uh, you learn to understand more what the printer is going to do for you. And, well, this way uh, you know a lot more about 3D printing right from the start than when you buy a pre-built kit. So, let's dive into what kind of printers there are and what you can do uh, if you want to start 3D printing. So, I'll give you a selection here. Uh, this is, uh, I think, one of the easiest printers to work with. It's also a workhorse. A lot of people have bought this machine and uh, it's very cheap and I think it's a great machine for children to work with. Also, it's a great machine for people who don't want to tinker a lot because this is the Da Vinci Mini. Uh, it only prints PLA. It's very compact. It has an almost 6 uh, inch platform, 6 inch uh, in the X, Y and Z axis and uh, well it, it's it's cheap and uh, this printer uh, it prints on, on Da Vinci filament so X, Y, Z printing filament and it's a very nice printer to work with. Then there is also another printer and I'll show you guys here that's the Da Vinci Junior Pro this one can work with all kinds of filaments, so you don't have to buy the special XYZ printing filaments, uh, but it must be PLA, because this is a PLA printer only. And uh, that said, it is a very good PLA printer. So it costs a lot more, uh, it's almost $200 uh, dollars, uh, more expensive, but it's a very, very good printer to, yeah, to, to be playing with. Then there is the Da Vinci Pro. So this is uh, not the, the Junior Pro, but it's the real Pro. And this is the printer I work with a lot. This printer is very nice because you can print all types of filament with it. Uh, it says on the front door that it prints ABS and PLA, but it does also do engine or uh, PATG. And I really love this printer. Uh, you have to tinker a few things because well there are a few things that are not that good uh, right out of the box so when you start printing with this machine you start printing with ABS because this is the material that they support right uh, right from the box and with ABS it's a very good printer but uh, when you're going to print PLA, which is much more easy to print, then you have the problems of not having a uh, fan that cools your filament. Uh, this printer can also do more. There is also a laser engraver, uh, and, and, yeah, laser engraver option in this printer. Uh, and also this printer uh, is also to be bought as a 3-in-1 printer. And then there is also a scanner which you can use. So it's a nice printer and uh, you can use filaments from other brands. Yeah, and I, I really love it. Uh, people who know my channel know I love this printer. And I think it's a very good one. Uh, but yeah, it comes with a price. Uh, it costs about 700 euros and sometimes you can find it a little bit cheaper uh, when it's on sale. Then I was looking at the Turnigy uh, printer, the Fabricator Mini version 2. But strangely enough, when you search on the website of Turnigy, you won't find their 3D printers. So when you go to the Hobby King website, there you can find the Turnigy machines. And uh, I think this Mini Fabricator V2, the, the version 2 of the Mini Fabricator, 
is really a very very nice printer and why do I think so well it can print PLA ABS and PATG so it's like the Da Vinci Pro machine it prints with all kinds of filaments that are really nice to print with and uh, well it's it's extremely cheap uh, it got 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters building platform uh, so it's a cube of 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters uh, but the thing has a heated platform uh, it has a nozzle that can go up to 260 degrees Celsius so yeah I think this is a very nice machine although uh, I, yeah, I must say I haven't played with it it's brand new uh, there are a few people now having this machine uh, but I didn't see a real uh, review on this machine and I have one ordered so I think well in a, a few weeks maybe or maybe a month or so uh, I will receive my machine because there is a little bit of delay on, on uh, the back orders so uh, I'll have to wait until I receive it and then I will uh, yeah I will do a review on this machine because I have, I have one ordered then there is this Tifo Tarantula printer and this is also a very cheap printer uh, it's a 252 dollar printer or euro printer and uh, that is when you buy it with a pro metal extruder and with automatic bed leveling but you can even go lower than this you can buy it for 190 euros if you have a default extruder and default bed leveling which means that you have to do it your own and this is also a very nice Prusa style printer and I must say I really love this one I don't own one myself but I know a few people who have one and well they're really fond of this printer I must say that also with this printer you have yeah it's very cheap so you have to take uh, some things in consideration uh, you have to yeah to be tinkering the machine a little bit but it's not really that bad uh, with a, a slightly tinkering on the machine you can have well a lot of fun with it so I think this is a great machine to have now those are all printers that when you buy them uh, they come pre-assembled except for the Tifo Tarantula uh, this is the first printer that I show you that comes as a kit and this means that you have to build the kit yourself uh, you get a box full of parts and you have to assemble those parts and I think this is a great way to learn how your printer works so yeah I think you should really love to uh, or, or you should you should uh, well how to say that you should love to tinker if you buy a kit printer if you want to have an out-of-the-box great experience don't buy a kit printer but on the other hand if you really want to know what's going on in your printer if you have built it yourself then you really understand your printer and you really understand what's happening inside the machine so well it's, it's a great experience to to do and especially if you're going to build one with your kids they will really love it to yeah, to be creative and and to start making something that actually works it's like a robot and when you have made one uh, then they can create for example their Easter Bunny uh, which is very very nice to print so uh, well you can do a lot of fun things with it then there is another way to go another route to go and that is building your complete own machine uh, I've done with this one uh, this is a hypercube printer and this printer is completely built from the ground up uh, the files are on Thingiverse if you search for hypercube you will find the files for this printer uh, it's made by Tech2C and all the credits go to him because he's really he's the designer of this printer uh, but you can make this printer by simply printing the parts for it so uh, if you start with a very very simple very cheap printer or if you know someone with a 3d printer that will print the parts for you then uh, with a few other things like uh, aluminum uh, yeah, 
building parts like aluminum tubes and, and uh, those 2020 extrusions and that kind of things uh, you can really build your own printer and there is a whole bill of materials if you search for hypercube uh, you will find it on thingiverse and well the bill of materials it will cost you around 300 dollars to build this machine and then you build it from the ground up and well it's a lot of work i think when you're not experienced well take a week for it and uh, then you have this machine but then again you have a great machine and it's very nice to do so this is it for for the printer part but then when you're buying a printer if you're going to build it or if you buy a completed machine you're not there already you also have to take in consideration that you have to buy some other things like for example spools of filament i have one box here and uh, it's it's a blue filament in this case uh, well you have to buy some other things so you have to buy your filament i have here my uh, real filament or 1 2 3d filament this is this is not real this is 1 2 3d um, which is great filament uh, you can also buy uh, other brands and, and but but you have to buy some filament then if you're well a little bit short-sighted like i am then you're also going to buy something that you can see very well these are my glasses that i use to uh, well to see very good what i'm doing so when I'm sitting and, and watch my print to see how good it is, I often do this with this, uh, well, these goggles. And then I use a knife, a sharp knife like this one, to, for example, to clean up the parts. So if you buy a 3D printer, you also want to buy a sharp knife like this is. Or maybe a knife that comes in a kit like this. So that's something you really need to have also what you really need to have are some tools so for example I have here uh, my side cutters and I have also some normal cutters and I have some uh, well, we call this a pin set I don't know what's the, the word in English I think it's, it's a plier I think that's the correct word and you need some pliers uh, maybe some bent ones and some straight ones so you, you need some tools when you're working with a 3d printer also you will need like for example here uh, some brushes to clean up your parts or to clean the bed of your printer and what you also will need is some tape uh, I use this tape on my aluminum print bed uh, so that the print will stick on the tape and uh, depending on what kind of printer you're having uh, you will need a little extra like for example uh, glue uh, I have a lot of glue here uh, often when I'm printing with PLA I don't use glue because PLA will stick to, to the tape very very good um, sometimes I use captain tape or even better Biltec uh, I use Biltec on my DaVinci Pro machine there and uh, on Biltec you can print with PLA or with ABS and you don't need anything as long as the, the heated bed heats the Biltec uh, anything that you print on it will stick to it but then when the print bed is getting cold then uh, the print will fall off very easily so you can just take it off so those are the things you have also to take in, in consideration when you're thinking of buying a 3d printer so what will a printer cost you well at first the printer will cost you somewhere around 200 to 300 euros for a cheap printer uh, or dollars uh, the dollar and the euro price is a little bit the same so somewhere between the 200 and 300 dollars or euros you will find your printer then you will also need for about 50 to 60 euros on tools that you will need to yeah to work with your printer like the pliers like the brushes uh, that kind of things the side cutter and also you will need some filament and filaments uh, a kilogram spool goes for about uh, 20 to 40 euros or dollars 
uh, and then you have a kilogram spool of filament and how much can you print with it well enough to buy a printer like this or, or to, to build a printer like this or uh, to build well I think uh, a couple of hundreds maybe more of those Easter bunnies so um, but it's fun to have multiple colors so you can can print things in multiple colors and uh, every spool will cost you between the 20 and the 40 euros or dollars so in total I think you should save yourself about 400 euros or dollars uh, before you start thinking of 3d printing because then you have everything you need to get started and uh, well you can go better than that if you want to have an open source printer that can print with all kinds of filaments they are a little bit more expensive if you want to have a, a, a standalone version a, a completely built uh, with exception for some like the fabricator mini can work with all kinds of filaments or like the tifo tarantula that is a kit but you can work with all kinds of filaments so those are the things you have to take in consideration and uh, as I said I have a uh, mini fabricator version 2 coming my way uh, I also have this hypercube which I'm printing with and uh, well at this moment I'm, I'm still waiting for a spare part for my Da Vinci Pro machine and when that spare part is here I will be using that machine a lot because I think it's one of yeah it's one of my best well that's easy set uh, I think it's even my best printer I have at this moment so uh, take it in consideration when you're going to to buy yourself a printer what you have to buy extra before you can use that printer or before your son or daughter can use that printer I hope this was uh, well something you liked if so please give it a thumbs up also uh, no, subscribe to this channel and hit that bell button so you will be notified when when I make new videos and I make one every week also if you have questions please ask them uh, you can use the the, uh, the comments in this YouTube video to ask me questions if you want to know specific things about specific printers for example and uh, well if you like to support my channel please do so there is a link in the description down below uh, where you can, can become a Patreon or where you can become a one-time donation supporter and this really helps this channel a lot so uh, I'm, I'm here for you to answer your questions and if you can do something for me well I like it but I'll never uh, I'll never ha have to say that you have to so I hope to see you guys next week until then bye bye